Hey everybody, Mike Cameron here. So, I got a topic that um, I wanted to talk about. And it's real estate related. Hopping in my truck right now. Leaving the house. Okay, hey, technology. That's good, hands free. All right, so the topic that I wanted to talk about has to do with the real estate market. Now, uh, it's 2017, it's August 2017, and the market is pretty dang hot. And I'll tell you how hot the market is. There's uh, at least two or three properties that we listed recently, and it sat on the market for an average, based on those three properties, about three days before it was under contract. I mean, this is crazy. And the market hasn't been this hot since, well, we know what happened in 2008, right? Right before the market crash. It was at its peak. So, uh, the topic that I wanted to discuss, which is brought to us by the Florida Association of Realtors, shout out for the topic, I appreciate it. And 63% of Americans, 63% of Floridians specifically, excuse me, are worried about another bubble and a uh, crash, okay? Now, <clears throat> I have different theories on this. Colleagues of mine and people that are in the industry have different theories about this and what is going to happen. Now, I'm not a psychic. And I don't plan on advertising myself as a psychic. Nobody is, right? We don't know what the future is going to hold. But there are always, and I'm going to repeat this, there are always corrections in the market. And that's what I call them. And we foresee, based on trends and what's happened in the past, that there will be a correction in the market. And it happens every so often. And you could talk to people who have been in the industry for the past 30, 40 years, and they'll tell you about these corrections. And then there's always a once in a generation burst of the bubble. I don't know if I'm gonna be around for the next bubble burst, but there's opportunity with these corrections. There's opportunity with these bubbles. You just have to be ready when the opportunity presents itself. So, uh, do I see it happening in the near future? I don't think it's gonna happen for the next year. I don't think it's gonna happen for the next year and a half to two years. But maybe somewhere around the two year mark, I do see a correction maybe about like a 15, probably maximum 17% correction in the housing market. And what I mean by correction, I'm not talking about a crash, a mini crash or anything like that. I just foresee maybe a, a slowing of the market. You can relate to this or not, but I think probably that the prices of homes are reaching a point where it's due for a correction. I don't know if you've been out there, but I've, I've dealt with buyers and I've helped them submit offers on property and you'd be surprised. I mean, it's crazy. The, the property just hits the market and when we're talking about desirable property listed at the right price, and you should pay attention to that, future realtors or existing realtors, you have to list it at the right price. Even now, if you underlist property, I'm telling you, the property is on the market for a day. You're gonna have offers, you're gonna have showings. Sometimes people buy it unseen. And this has happened to me. I listed, a, I bought a condo, it was a flip. I bought it for 75K. And I turned around and sold it for 115,000. $15,000 over the market value 
I mean maximum maybe 95 but I made some improvements so I try to squeeze a little bit more out of it and and then some because I just wanted to test the market I wasn't in a rush to sell it but it was on the market for less than a week it was already already under contract cash buyer I think they were from Venezuela 115,000 is it worth $115,000 now? I would say it's pretty damn close. So they bought it over market value. And I'm talking about maybe within less than six months, it's sitting at market value. And they have all those wonderful, beautiful improvements. I did actually leverage what I had in place. I had a tenant inside and I sold the property with a tenant inside. So that was property sold subject to an existing lease. Whoever buys it has to honor the lease. And I'll have to admit, I was a little bit nervous because I had just got them to sign a lease. And then thereafter, shortly after, I decided to list it. Uh, but I was able to sell it with the tenant inside. Um, good news is for the investor. Uh, the tenant that I had inside was paying the highest amount of rent because your boy knows how to negotiate in the entire community. We're talking about, I mean, average rent for the community at the time, maybe like 900, maybe maximum 950. Actually, no, I did see one lease for 1,050, but I managed to squeeze 1,250 out of these tenants and that kind of tells you something about the rental market too the rental market is crazy uh, people in Florida are saying inventory is running out so um, what does that mean well it drives demand up demand increases when supply decreases and we know, all know the law of supply and demand so it's interesting you know you, you like to see what happens in the market, but I'm going to tell you, if you're worried about getting a good deal, there is a good deal in every single market, all right? Millennials are saying, I think there's like 80% of millennials are saying that property values are too high, and also, if they buy a property now, I think it was 82, 82 to 83% saying if they buy a property now, that they don't foresee it going up in value in the next five to seven years because they think property values are at its peak. But I do see uh, property values still climbing in Florida. And, and we're in Orlando. Okay, listen, if you're interested in investing, you need to come see me. I'm the person you need to see because Orlando is an anomaly in comparison with, let's say, a Miami. Okay, let's say a like uh, like Brickell, obviously that's like South Florida, but uh, Fort Myers, places like this are blowing up. Okay, Sarasota, their market is going crazy, and here in Orlando, you can still find a three-bedroom, two-bath house. I mean, this is crazy. New construction for around two hundred thousand dollars. Now tell me that's not amazing, all right? So if you want to retire here in Orlando, if you want to move to Orlando, if you want to invest in Orlando, come see me, okay? Call the office, my real estate academy, to make an appointment with my secretary, 407-251-0051. If you're interested in selling, I would tell you now is the time to sell, okay? You can wait. But don't wait too long, okay? If you bought property, and you need to pay attention to this, this is super important. If you bought property 2010, 2011, like myself, now is the time to sell. Your property is probably worth about two to three times what you paid for it. And I can help you out, okay? We can get your property on the market, and I told you what's happening in the market, so come see me, Mike Cameron, I'll help you out, get you on track, and we'll do a, a beautiful layout. I mean, this is how beautiful the market is. The last property I put on the market, I didn't even have an opportunity to put a for sale sign in the front yard. 
So if you're interested in selling, come see me. I'll help you out. 407-251-0051. We'll get you on track. Signing off. Until next time.